There was a, a Steam client update. It's been a while since I've covered anything like this. I wanted to mention it though, mainly really not too much is changing, like giving us more options. You do have this that you can now bind in a player slot. That's only if you're using all X input stuff, like, and, you, and you're playing locally. Like, you need to switch which controller is registered as player one, player two, player three, that kind of stuff. So, for me, as someone who <laughs> doesn't have real life friends who play games very often, like, that is meaningless to me, but it's great that it's in there. But the main thing, aside from that, the main thing I wanted to talk about was. Rework the setting for enabling the big picture mode overlay when using Steam input enabled controller. The setting now defaults to off, which I do not like, nor do I agree with that as the new default. So basically, when you get this update and you launch a game, you will not have touch menus, radial menus, action set or action layer notifications, the changes, and you're not going to be able to edit your config in-game, which, yeah, I just, I, I really, I don't agree with the methodology of turning that off as the default. I mean, it's not a big deal, but I wanted to make just a quick little announcement, like, hey, make sure you go back in, you're going to have to change it. So go into your settings. In-game, this will be unchecked. Use big picture overlay when using Steam input enabled controllers from the desktop. Hell yes. Why would I ever not want that? <laughs> That's like, it's cool that we can now, I guess the change was I could show you, you know, I go to a game. We do now have the option. Go to properties. Right here. You know, you can force big picture overlay off or on. So why not have the default be to always use it? Because I guess this is my frustration. That's kind of why I wanted to just make, like, I'm not really angry. I mean, <laughs> this is, as angry as I get is, I don't like that. But yeah, like, because you're making the default experience be harder for people who are using the controller and want to get the most out of the controller. Plus, the default experience now is any game that you launch that has a touch menu, you're not going to see it. I guess that's kind of my frustration with it all, is while it's great that we can control this, don't you want the default to be to have that on? Because, yeah, I guess it's, it's that they, they never really go out of their way to connect that big picture overlay is what you need when using a Steam controller to configure the controls and specifically to have touch and radial menus. And it's also what controls the uh, action set and action layer change notifications, like when you, when you get the beep and then the little notification will pop up on the screen. That's tied to big picture mode. So that's kind of my grumble. It's just I don't really agree with them disabling that as the default. But I guess, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, Steam controller users are a very small majority of people using controllers in Steam. And a lot of people just really despise all of this. Like, they don't even know that Steam input is a thing that you can edit controls. So, I'm, get, I'm getting sidetracked. <laughs> so that's that, that's that. Just want to let you know, update... Go in there and change that. Once again, that was your settings in game. Just make sure you check that back. If you want, I mean, I'm assuming if you're watching my channel, you probably want to be able to edit your controller and use touch and radial menus. Yeah, I just wish they would put in like <laughs> at least at least a notation. It should be a giant bullet point like, "Hey, you sh you should use big picture mode." When you're using a controller, it's required for very specific things that the controller can do. Ugh. All right. That's all I got. That's that's my my cranky style. I don't make videos like this very often because I'm usually pretty happy about stuff. But this is like, yeah, I really I don't I don't agree with that. 
Ah.